Hey guys, how y'all doing? We're out here jading today, looking for some cobia, maybe a nice doormat flounder. I'm using a flat ball, and Ben's uh, got a giant TRD on there, and we've got our buddies back here from Shimano on their boat. See if they can't get in on the action. See where the day takes us. Good fish. Good fish. Ah. Hell yeah. Oh no! He just shook it loose. That was definitely a cobia. So Ethan and I were vertical jigging and not getting many bites and we started casting and working the bottom and started getting some activity, so. Dang, that was a good fish. Or a good red. Oh, you want? I'm on, nope, that was bottom. Oh, did you get me in the bottom? No, we didn't. We, we're not on any bottom. I think it's just a big fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's just a stud, dude. Ooh. And you got him on a three pound. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna three be fun. Double. Oh man. He's gonna be in it for the long haul here. Yeah, that's <laughs> I might need to get around back. What the heck was that? Holy cow! Coming up to the surface yep. like a cobia. That's a cobia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. There he is. Let's go. Get him on in there. Oh, not quite did done not yet. Like that <laughs> oh my! Ready? Right, heck yeah! Woo! Good stuff, man. Dude. On board. The sun came out. Fish decided to play. Oh, let's get him back in. Yep. Nice catch and release. Heck yeah. Good job, brother. Let's do it again. Let's go get another one. Where we hook those few, kind of, about 75 to 80 feet to our left, right here on the live bottom. You can see the live bottom right here on our side imaging. Those shadows that are casting as we drift by, and then... Yup, 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 good one. Good one. Right on that live bottom, right where I thought he was. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. Oh yeah, big head shakes. Definite cobia. Yep. Hoping he dumps some line and ends up being a... This one feels good, bud. That's what we needed. There's my fish right there. Oh, big head shake, scary. Oh, come on, girl. There she is on top. Oh, yeah. Nice 30 pound fish, bud. Ready? Oh! Woo! There we go. Yeah. Woo! Good stuff, Woo! Man. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, that thing's fat. Yeah, that's a thick fish. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. Stick them on your belly. <laughs> what? Is it? Little suction cup to you. Uh, <laughs> I was reeling in and I just let it hang under the boat and I was watching the Shimano guys and got thumped. Little Kobe, I think. Yeah, little guy. Heck yeah. Oh, good There's some real good live bottom 50 to 100 feet to our starboard here. You kind of, they're basically like right over if you cast off their starboard side. One of us got you. Come on. Coming across a little live bottom again here to our right, Ethan, basically right under that chum. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. A little suspicious. A little, a little suspicious. Nah, 
Rodney. Nice flounder. Flounder. No. Nope. Oh, he jumped. He's a chopper. He's a chopper. A little cobia, going back in the drink. He's gone. Long, just real slow, bouncing up off the bottom. I got got a little bite, something popped off, and then got hammered. Oh, that's oh a decent yeah. one. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Oh, dude, that's a very nice. That's one. a nice one. Yeah. Down below the surface. Down below the surface. Yeah, that was a heavy one. He was just sitting on the bottom and finally came up. You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. There's Ooh. the drag. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. There's that fish we oh, were looking for. This giant TRD is money. Dude, they're crushing this On thing. the three ounce jig head? Yeah. Cobia candy. Come on, put that big boy right in his head. Oh, oh he's turning his head. <laughs> he sees it, man. Yeah. He's like, nope. Yeah. He's in the head. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, buddy. Get him up in here. Ah, that's a good fish. That's a keeper. There we go. Yeah. Number two for the box. Man, another good fish on the giant TRD. Look at that bad boy. You gotta love it. Choked it. Ooh, yeah. That's, That's a fun a one. one. That's what we came out here for. Yes. They're strong fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, all day long. 38. Yep. So when we measure these cobia, we have to measure them to a fork length, not a total length. So it's to the fork of the tail. It's an important thing to know when harvesting cobia. We're gonna clip that gill and bleed them in the live well. Not quite done yet. So all I gotta do is say we're leaving and they bite. Oh yeah. Oh, foul hooks one? Oh no, just a little baby. He's barrel wrapped. And then you lassoed him, Ethan. That's crazy. Wow. There he goes. <laughs> oh, perfect. Easy as that. Didn't even have to take him out of the water. Well, we're wrapping up after an awesome morning out here at the Near Shore Rex fishing for some cobia. Uh, Ethan and I were able to catch six. Uh, four were a little short, but we were able to bring two home for dinner and put on the grill. Uh, the Shimano guys also were able to catch five on soft plastics as well. Soft plastics definitely seemed to be the key bait this morning, and uh, it was a little slow when we first got out here, you know, but when, uh, when that sun tide turned. Out. Sun popped out and the tide turned, fish turned on. They did. No, they did for sure, man. We all noticed that on both boats, and it kind of seemed like the other boats that were around us as well were kind of experiencing the same thing. So uh, we're looking forward to getting back in and filleting some of these up and sharing some of the fish with our families and friends, and uh, you guys have a great rest of your day.